Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am going to be making a new DIY half letter planner slash notebook. And so far, I think I'm going to be using it as a craft notebook slash planner type thing. And I really didn't want to add another weekly planner to my lineup, but I'm feeling like I want to go back to weekly layouts for the weekly challenge instead of doing the daily weekly setups. So I have picked up these couple of items from Office Depot. This is a set of dividers and they're supposed to be clear. I wasn't really sure because they got this, the paper behind them. So it kind of doesn't look clear, but let's check it out and see. So, we get this oh they all have a pocket on them i didn't know that i mean that's okay i guess yeah i thought that the pocket was just like one on like a dashboard but yeah they all have a pocket and then oh these are the labels which i probably won't use because um they're not clear, are they? Well, let me see. No, they're not clear. So I won't be using those in this. So, and then this, set that aside. Then I also got two sets of discs because I don't know what color I wanna go with. I also have some clear discs that I could use. Um, I kinda wanted to use the black, but now I'm, I'm not sure. I kinda wanna make my cover using this acetate. Hopefully it will work. See, I also have these discs. So, but these are like a frosted blue. They're not really clear. I wonder why some of them come in a box and some of them come like that. These are tool discs also. Even though those pink ones do look cute for the summer. Let's do the pink. I like the pink. So this is our look. And also because the back of this is a rose gold color and I think that goes with the pink too. And then what I'll be putting on the inside will also go. Now I will be incorporating a another planner for July, starting in July. So this one may not be seen that much because I'll be starting this planner in July, I think, I hope. So this will actually really be my Scrapcraftastic Weekly Planner Challenge planner. And I, I'm hoping that I can stick it out the whole time in this all the way through 2022. So. Okay, so this is coming soon <laughs> to the planner lineup. So maybe I won't do so much of the weekly challenge in this like I thought. This will just be crafting projects and things like that. Notes on crafting projects. Okay, all of that aside, basically I just wanna make a planner. So let's make one. Okay, let's take this out. Well, I need two laminate sheets. Half letter is five and a half by eight and a half, which we know. Should I just take this out or should I cut it while it's in the wrapper? I could just cut it while it's in the wrapper. So, and I also want to leave a little extra. Um, so I'm thinking I should cut it at five and three quarters height. I mean, width and eight and three quarters in height. Let's, let's see what happens. I'm gonna set these aside. And I am gonna, I don't wanna do it on this side. Let's, 
so eight and a half is the actual height if I do I'm gonna go ahead and do nine and then if it's too big I can always trim it down but when I put the laminate on it that's gonna add another quarter inch I have these inserts printed these are inserts that you can get if you are a scrap craftastic patron each month so if I'm going to add that, then you figure another quarter inch. Is that going to be entirely too big? I'm going to go with eight and three quarters. <laughs> so eight and three quarters by five and three quarters. Maybe a little bit over. Let's do that. Make sure I got the right measurement and trim. And I'm cutting it inside the wrapper because the extra pieces, I would like them to stay protected, so. Okay, so then we're gonna go five and three quarters, which there is no measurement on here for that. I do not like that about this. So that's five and a half. I'm just gonna go right there. And do the same for this one. Okay, so hopefully we got our covers the right size. So I'm going to take the plastic protection off. And this is going to be a glare intense project. Sorry about that, but can't be helped. And I'm not going to try and save laminate. I'm just going to stick it in the middle. And as close to the top as I can get it. So I had a question about things you can do with acetate. This is one. Um, I'll show some more as I go. But this is one. You can make your own covers and dashboards with the acetate. My laminator has been warming up for a good while, so it should be nice and hot. And I kind of want to get something heavy to set on top of this when it comes out. So I have this paper pad. So I'm going to use that to set on top of it. And that's to try to keep to flatten the laminate as much as possible. When you buy covers, um, with laminated covers, it's typically um, 10 mil laminate, but I would need a special laminator to be able to do to use 10 mil, which I'm not prepared to invest in at the time. At this time, <laughs> if I was making covers to sell, maybe I would, but um, for now, I'm using five mil. And see, I don't like all the the wrinkles in that, but hopefully. Flattening it will help. May not. I'm going to set that on there for a minute. And you need to do that when it's hot. Don't wait until it cools off. Okay. So let's do this one. I don't want to set it on there too long because that's plastic. Now keep in mind this acetate is not heat resistant or heat friendly so it's not like the Duralar. The Duralar can take it, the acetate can't so I probably would not run this through more than once or at least I would let it really cool down before I run it through again. And I think maybe holding it straight like that keeps helps with the wrinkly situation that's going on. So I'm going to leave it on in case I decide to run it through uh, again. While that is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half. And I'm just going to do a couple of sheets at a time. This is 32 pound paper, so it's pretty heavy. 
and this is a heavy duty paper trimmer but I don't want to push the issue so and I'm just cutting in half that's like one of the reasons I really like uh, half letter it's because it's so easy you just cut the paper in half and you don't have to worry as much about when you print um front and back you don't have to worry as much about things lining up i have found that there is an issue with i'm just going to do these out of order i think there is an issue oh i printed two sets okay yeah, I have noticed that there's an issue with inkjet printers lining up when you print duplex, which is front and back. But a laser printer does a much better job of it. So if you're interested in doing your own inserts, probably a laser printer would be the way to go. And a monochrome, monochrome laser, a black and white laser printer is not nearly as expensive as... Um, a color laser printer okay let me get these straightened out because I just made a mess of it um, so if you've ever wondered these are the inserts uh, I don't know if you can see you get the cover sheet this is grid dot grid rather dot grid you get the monthly and you get the weekly dated this goes in here and it comes in two versions for most sizes the horizontal doesn't come in all the sizes but the vertical does all the popular main sizes and this is the vertical it's the same setup with the dot grid here so you could use this to track things make a tracker for notes whatever you need the monthly layout and then these are the weeks um not all of them are lined, but the majority of the them are, I think. But there's lines there to guide you. And I think next year this design is going to change. It's going to be a more, it's going to be less bold. This is a bold design, especially for me. I like a light gray look usually, but I went with a bold design. And then the last page, again, is... A cover like a back cover page so you get the horizontal and the vertical okay so and I need to punch these so I'm using I mix up all the brands happy planner arc uh, <laughs> tool yeah so I think we can remove this now it's probably done all that it's gonna do So this is an arc punch and I have it set. It has the settings on here for the different sizes. It has A5, it has junior, it has letter, I think. No, it has the nine by six. I can't really see that. And it has A4. We want junior, so I'm gonna set it to junior because junior is half letter and let's make sure we are punching on the right side of the paper before i just go to punching and punch and this will punch a nice little stack um, easily so let's see one two three four I could probably do five. Let's see. Five sheets of 32 pound paper. Oh, is that the right side though? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, easy. And I know it's like it's it's costly to do to purchase the equipment and supplies to do your own planner stuff. 
but in the end if you use it regularly i think it's kind of worth it i mean that punch is a little pricey and i think when i looked at looked at it on the website a couple of days ago it's even more than when i bought that one um but i feel like it was totally worth it so instead of dealing with the happy planner punch that i've always had problems with without having to worry about jams and things like that i think it's totally worth it and then once you get it that's it that's the expense you don't have to keep buying something over and over again i mean i don't know i'm just a diy type of person i want to do things myself and that way if i want to do it again i can now i did not round the corners of the acetate i probably should have but i didn't so i'm going to use them as is but i am going to round this so i'm going to use the corner inch same thing with these we are memory keepers tools the eyelet setter and this punch I've used one of these punches so much that I actually wore it out. I still use it though. It's like my backup. So <laughs> they are totally worth it if you do craft projects and DIY type paper crafting planner stuff. And I try to link everything that I use in the description box below. Uh, if you don't see it, I also have my Amazon shop linked and i try to put everything that i buy and use that is craft related in the shop so it's there now should i run this i'm gonna run this through on the side after i round the corners and hopefully that will get rid of some of the rippling And I also do like to seal again once I've trimmed. I wonder if I fed this with paper, if it would help with that rippling. I know the rippling is the roller on the inside that causes that. So I wonder if that will help. That's the only thing that I don't like about laminating my covers. I don't want them to have rumples and bumples. <laughs> I want them to be flat and so you can see that. Can you see it? I want it to be flat and smooth. I wonder if I ironed it, would it, <laughs> would it mess it up? A low heat iron. This is probably not heavy enough. And I'm thinking that if I keep something heavy on top of it over time, that it would flatten it out. So maybe I'll have to go that route because this doesn't seem to be helping that much. It helps a little bit. Okay, enough with the laminator. Let's put it away. Let's go ahead and start putting the inserts on the disc. So. Let's see. And again, I like 32 pound paper, but you could also get away with 28 pounds, 24 pounds. I wouldn't do 20 pound. 20 pound is like the regular copy paper. I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I think a heavier weight for planning if you're using stickers and washi is better. Also, with the 20 pound, you'll have to worry about bleed through. If you're using gel ink, if you're using a ballpoint pen, then it probably wouldn't matter. But if you're using like highlighters and markers, 20 pound is probably not the best idea. So here we go. And now I'll be all set in this one for July. 
So I'm thinking about abandoning my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, and just doing everything here. It's been bothering me for a while that I am not able to post over there like I want to because I spend so much time over here. So maybe I should just move it all back over here. I know a lot of people are not interested in the journal stuff, but I'm thinking maybe I can make it more interesting over here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I move it back over here or just scrap it all together? Okay. Here we go again with And I can't flip it over because the words would be backwards. But that looks so good with the pink disc, the rose gold. But no, we can't do that. So this will go here. And this will go there. So I have to kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, doing this because... It is a little bigger than junior size on the end. So I kind of have to fold the edges up like so hopefully you can see that so that they don't get punched and I gotta kind of make sure that I have it in the middle and just lined up well okay can we get that out of there There we go. And I probably should run it through again now that it's punched. Let me turn that back on. We might run that through one more time. <laughs> okay, so I'm making sure that I'm punching the right side. I am in the right on the right side of the laminate. Okay. And I gotta turn this up again. Try to center as best as I can. So we have put the laminator up, but let's drag it back out one more time and run this through because I want to make sure that those punches are nice and sealed. That's going to be pretty. I hope I didn't mess that up. Put it in there crooked. Yeah, it sealed those punches a little bit better than they were. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on the disc. this away Ooh, hot 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 <laughs> okay we got enough room on the side for our tabs let's pop those in even though I'm not really sure that I'm gonna actually need them we have them so. and what I like about the tool and arc is that they are not a five size they are actually junior size and yeah the tab does hang over a little bit more than I would hope but I guess I can live with that since it's clear I would have had to make this extremely wide to accommodate that tab and I think the reason why it's so much wider than usual is because of this pocket. Because I think that's too much excess that I left on there. So I don't know if you're using the tabs, maybe measure the tab width. If you're particular about your tabs hanging out, I don't think it matters when they're plastic like this. <laughs> They're not going to get damaged. So. And then I'm just going to put these three in the back. 
until I decide what else is going in here. Okay. So I had moved out of a half letter disbound earlier in the year that I was using for my PR social media planner. Um, and I'm in a B6 for that now and I like it, but I do miss the disc. So I think I'm happy to be back in some discs, even if I, if, even if it's not going to be like an everyday weekly type deal, I'm happy to be back in them. Now these discs are a little big for this. I don't really have anything in here yet, but this is a start. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.